Hello and welcome. Today we have the question how we run the script only on once by startup. So every time we run the WinCC runtime we want to trigger one script. If we want to make this we should go to global script editor and we can select the C editor or visual basic script edition. Until now we use the Visual Basic, so let's go again to Visual Basic and in next videos I will try to go to C Editor more often and you will find more C actions in my videos. If you like this, make sure you subscribe and uh, let's go to our topic, how to run the script once on the WinCC runtime starts. We go to Actions, we open the Visual Basic Script Editor and in here we can create one more action, for example, we have one from my SUW demo, but let's talk about this. We created the action, the function, in here we can make the coding Visual Basic. So, for example, let's say every time we run the WinCC runtime, we display about the message box, we started application. So, let's create a message box. And in message box, let's say application is started. Okay, it's, it's clear, I think. If you don't know about the message box, uh, let me know. I can prepare for you some basic about the Visual Basic scripts. So we have the message box, application is started, and we need to save this. After we save, we display the name of the script. It's, for example, startup script. After we save, we have our script, but this kind of actions, we need to make the trigger for this. So, we need to go to info and trigger dialog. In here we have the information, but we don't need this. We go to trigger. In here we need the trigger, for example, the acyclic or cyclic or tag. I think we should go to tag and we go to tag management to create one internal tag. In here we have the scripts group and let's say we have the start up internal tag. This for example can be binary and let's say at the beginning it's always start value set to zero. So our tag is always zero when we run this application. In here we can go to trigger and we can put on tag the trigger add and let's say the standard cycle two seconds. So every two seconds we check the value of this trigger. Let's apply, okay. So, until now, we will have the script running every two seconds. But now, let's go and change the action script to make this only once when the tag, our start, start tag, is zero. Let's go to script and let's write the one if then function. So if our HIME runtime dot tags read is zero, we want to display this message box and we need to close. But after we display this data we need to change this tag into 
one dot tag we open and we say we write the data and we write the for example one so after we start this application and our startup tag is zero we display this message box and after we display this message box we set this into one we can save this we see also the trigger is set on this action let's go to close this and and run this demo okay we're running in demo mode we have the for example 15 minutes before we our runtime will close so for demo application is enough to test our application okay now we see the script is running we have the application is started okay after we close this we see our tag is value one and this script won't open it's everything working you can select okay so this kind of scripts it's running only on the startup is used when we want to make some events into SQL or make some notification to our users or for alarm logging to start for example the logging system and we can use this kind of scripts in case of this situation if you like this subscribe and let's go to another videos in friday see you and have fun learning wincc v7